What did you just say, sir? It's all right. You're like your father. You can see them too, can't you? My father, what did he think he saw? It ain't my place to say, sir, but I... Go on. Begging your pardon, sir, you should go. This place, it drove your father mad. Drove him? Did he say what or whom he saw? I'm sure I don't know, sir. Best not push her too hard. She's scared enough of me already. I've been babbling in my sleep since I was a child. It's nothing to worry about. Poor girl is scared out of her wits. Of course, sir. Sorry, sir. Sorry, I didn't get your name. It's Ailsa, sir. Ailsa Cranon. Oh, and Master Andrew asks if you would join him in the library. After breakfast, of course. Thank you, Miss Cranon. Get a hold of yourself, David. Were these apparitions what drove my father from the castle when he was young? Were they what drew him back? He must have found something in the family chronicles he spoke of. I don't remember ever seeing that boy. A faded memory, perhaps? As far as I know, I've never been to this castle before. Nobody else saw the boy or the old man who looked like my grandfather Edward. But it felt real, more even than the daydreams that plagued my childhood. Elsa knows more than she wants to tell me. Mm -hmm. 